So I'm doing a walkthrough slash review type thing for this beach house in Galveston that we stayed at last week. It was pretty great. So I'm just going to take a couple minutes to show you the pros and cons of it and then I'll do like a walkthrough. So yeah. Um, pro. It's got like four bedrooms and a couch bed. Uh, they're two big TVs. They do Chromecast so we don't have to sit there and watch cable all week. Uh, there's a dishwasher and all that kind of stuff. It was really cool. It fit a whole bunch of us. Um, there were seven that went. Um, my family, my grandparents. Um, we originally didn't think we'd like stairs being outside because it's two story, but fantastic. It really helped. So we had my grandparents up top and that's on bottom and it kind of helped keep things. I liked it. So, yeah. Um... It's dog friendly, which is amazing uh, because we have dogs and we needed to groom them. So, yeah. But about that. Um, you do have to clean up after your dog or you'll get fined for that. Um, and stuff. We, yeah. So, it was really nice to be able to bring our dogs. Except, uh, I had a con with this whole dog thing because. Well, so we kept sheets on them because we knew that if there was dog hair all over the place, we'd get a fine for it being extensively dirty. So we kept kept, sheet, kept kept sheets on them the entire time, and we vacuumed in between, like in the middle of the week and at the end of the week, so there was absolutely no dog hair on any of the furniture downstairs at all. Now, there may have been a little dog hair on the ground because it's very difficult to get all the dog hair off the ground. Though we did vacuum and sweep to our, the best of our abilities. And it looked fairly clean. Like, it looked really clean. Um, but we got an email today saying that the cleaning company said there was dog hair all over the couch and that we'll be fined for that. Yeah, so we're going to be fined an extra $100 because there was dog hair on the couch when we know for a fact that there wasn't. So not only are they lying to try and get money out of us, they're being absolutely ridiculous. First, those couch head covers. You take them off, you put them in the washing machine. We did not because we vacuumed them and there wasn't, it wasn't that bad. Um... So, I think it's really shady that they're doing that to us. Um, I understand it's not the owner's fault. He doesn't personally go and look at the beach houses every time. He doesn't even live in Galveston. It's the cleaning company's fault. And it wouldn't have bothered us nearly as bad if it had just been on the website. Like, hey, if you bring your dogs, it'll be an extra $100. It's just worth of cleaning. But they didn't. We could have prepared for that. We can't, we, we just, it'd be like, oh extra hundred dollars well crap okay um sure you said it was dog friendly you would expect a little dog hair plus when we get the, when we got there there was already dog hair on the couches I mean it wasn't like excessive but there was dog hair on those couches and it didn't look completely clean which is understandable to me because it's dog friendly I mean I understand there's gonna be like some stains and it wasn't bad and they were white couches. Obviously, that's going to be a problem. Um, but we didn't have a problem with it at all. And we were fine. But I'm sure we even cleaned up the dog hair that was there before. And they're trying to charge us for something that wasn't there and that we didn't do. Which is extremely shady and ridiculous. I personally get really cold really easily. So, And they didn't really have extra blankets like the storage room said there was. So I would bring extras in my opinion. I especially liked how close we were to the water and how close we were to the bridges to get into the onto the beach.